हेलो एंड वेलकम टू स्टडी विद सुधीर योर डिजिटल क्लासरूम एंड आई एम टी एस सुधीर आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग एन एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास टेन हु आर गोइंग टू बी प्रमोटेड टू क्लास इलेवन बिकॉज दिस इज रियली द स्टेज वेन यू डिसाइड वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी योर फ्यूचर कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन वॉट आर द सब्जेक्ट यू आर गोइंग टू ऑप्ट फॉर इन क्लास इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व एंड देर आफ्टर इन द अंडर ग्रेजुएट कोर्सेस लेवल एज वेल राइट many of you have been writing to me in the comment section as to which board you should opt for cbsc iisc state board or cambridge in other cases depending on what you want to opt for science humanities or commerce so today in this particular video we are going to be focusing on students who opt want to opt for science stream and this is basically because if we we will divide it into three parts so that the video doesn't become very bulky and we will talk specifically for those students who want to opt for trying for the premier entrance examinations for both iit g as well as for neat right so irrespective of whether you want to go for the engineering stream that is the joint entrance examination jee or for neat this is the video you want would want to watch because this will give you an idea a comparative analysis because what i'm going to do is a swot analysis of sort okay specifically talking about the pluses and the minus and it is for you in consultation with your parents your elder siblings and then decide what is going to be the best board for you with which board cbsc isc cambridge or state board you should opt for okay so let me say that at the outset the decision is going to be yours what i'm going to do here is to help you make that decision okay so let's first talk about the isc and the cbsc boards we'll come to state board in a while okay now many students and there are many of you out here who have studied in icsc till class 10 are generally in a dilemma because the general belief is that isc is not really suitable or at least the syllabus in isc class 11 and 12 is not really suitable when you want to go in for entrance examinations like the ones that i mentioned the joint entrance examination for engineering or the neat for medical uh, the focus in isc is also largely on the english language the the level of toughness of the isc syllabus as far as english literature is concerned is much more than that in cbsc and definitely much more than in the state board okay two in terms of the kind of books that they have the ncrt books which are the staple diet of the cbsc board they are considered better when it comes to entrance examination especially in subjects like biology and chemistry right this is something which most educators will tell you this is an accepted fact that ncrt is considered something like the the bhagavad gita or the bible or the quran as far as this entrance examinations is concerned they generally try to conform it to the ncrt curriculum books okay let's also look at the statistics right uh, stats always tell you the story they put it in perspective now close to 2 lakh students uh sit for the class 10 icsc examination do you know the number which sits for the isc class 12 board examination the number is less than 1 lakh it's close to about 86000 odd plus minus a few thousands which means more than 50% of the students who have opted for isc uh, icsc in class 10 do not opt for isc in class 12 and where do they go to they obviously don't drop out of school at it is most of them don't uh, they go either to the state board or they go to the cbsc right now that's what the data shows right and what would be the reason why they would be opting out for the reasons that we just mentioned that the belief is that isc syllabus does not prepare you well enough is that true or not let's settle that first it's not entirely true the problem with isc is that the focus largely is on the english language so that the student will need to spend more time in subjects like english literature which he could probably otherwise devote to subjects like mathematics physics chemistry or biology you know depending on whether he or she is opting for engineering or medical right uh, which wouldn't be the case in both cbse and the state board that is one major difference and number 2 
because the ncrt is seen the books are seen as more close and more ideally suited for the entrance examinations right now while many of you may opt for cbsc for the reasons that i just mentioned the question is whether a normal cbsc school will prepare you for a seat in one of the premier engineering colleges like any of the iits or bits pilani or bit or manipal would it do so or any of the premier medical colleges starting from aims to jipmer pondicherry to uh, bellur uh, bellur medical college that is a very important question that you need to address right so i hope i have put it in perspective as to what is the situation so far now let me present to you before uh, before you the facts and here i come to the state board let's get the state board into the mix as well because it is the state board in different states whether it is telangana or andhra pradesh or karnataka or rajasthan it is there that these coaching institutes the private coaching institutes have a tie up with the state board and that may be a narayana chaitanya or a resonance or a pace you know you have a whole lot of them akash you have a whole lot of them across the country right now what happens in the state board the coaching institutes is something which you need to understand and this is specifically for students who want to opt for trying for a seat in any of the iits or the medical colleges now the focus till almost december december of the year is largely on preparing the students for the competitive examination they don't they not even touch the textbooks which are prescribed by these respective state boards for class 11 or class 12 they generally study that only in the last month maximum one and a half months january and half of february and generally by march first week is when the state board conduct their examination so you generally have about two months you know you leave out some days gap for the pongal sankranti holidays which generally happen across the country so you are talking about generally about five to six weeks right most people believe that if you are very well acquainted with the syllabus for the competitive exam it would not be very difficult for you to score a high 80s or a you know 90s in the state board examination that's what the general belief is and many students do manage to get in the high 90s uh, if they are pretty well uh, versed with the competitive examination the they, they have done that with a lot of rigor okay now uh, if it's your call if you want to settle for this kind of a life in the next two years instead of a conventional school life because a conventional school life is what you have the morning assembly you have the prayer you go for different competitions uh, you have different periods which will go on till about what 2 o'clock 2:30 3 p.m. then you come back home that is the school life which will extend from morning 8 till about 2:30 3 the coaching institute life is what it will start classes from about 8 o'clock in the morning and go on till sometimes even 6 or even 7 in the evening so you're talking of about 10 to 11 hour schedule in a coaching institute there is no morning assembly there are no uh, you know competitions that you go for where you represent the coaching institute nothing of the sort you study 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 and study okay so it's your call which kind of a life you want to up for for the next 2 years for the next 24 months okay i was speaking to an education expert tarunathyam who is very well respected in education circles okay and he's very good he understands the subject of education very well his view was that if cbse was really good enough to prepare you as many believe that it is better than isc uh, if it was really so good so many coaching institutes would not be thriving and mushrooming in the country and i think that's a valid point to make he also believes that cbse does not quite prepare you for problem solving okay it's not does not prepare you for problem solving which is the kind of approach when you you need when you go into an iit je or a neat kind of a you know examination pattern in fact he was making a very interesting analogy like you know that the cbse board examinations are almost like the ranji trophy in cricket you know you have the legacy but unfortunately does not have the glamour the pitches are largely dead okay some changes happening now there are no crowds but the other side is almost like the indian premier league you know there's glamour there are crowds there's a lot of money you know so that's a kind of a, you may or may not agree with that comparison but that's an interesting analogy that he was telling me about 
now some students also try and this is another option which is usually tried by some students that they try the conventional school that they go to a normal ISC or a CBSE school during the day that is till about three o'clock in the afternoon and from say five to seven every day they go to a coaching institute it could happen it would not happen all seven days of the week it could happen something like three days or four days a week it could happen Saturday Sunday and maybe a Friday or even a Thursday in some cases that is an option also tried by many students which also is something which you could possibly look at the flip side is that it will only leave you more and more tired because it will not give you time to finish the homework that will be given by your conventional school irrespective of which board it is and you would not be able to keep pace it's almost like a bit of a you know uh, uh, it's like a tuition uh, but is that good enough to prepare you to uh, do the JE so just look at it like this you are going to be doing say two hours say even four days a week so you're going to be doing something like eight hours uh, sorry uh, yeah uh, two hours per day into four days about eight hours in a week compare that to students who are doing it about 10 hours into 60 days 60 hours versus eight hours is it good enough for you to be there and compete with those students when it comes to the entrance examinations that's a call you need to take and in the midst of all this you should not falter on your cbsc board or the isc board that you would normally give so that is a call you need to take based on this kind of very realistic circumstances that you will be in uh, what is life inside a coaching institute a private coaching institute be it narayana chaitanya resonance akash space whichever we'll deal with that in a separate video because that is something of a very different life and students from cbsc or icsc state board would not be prepared for the kind of rigor that you need to go through if you enter any of those private coaching institutes so only if you think you are tough and when i say tough it does not mean physically tough it means mentally tough to take on that strain only then think of that coaching institute kind of approach you need to be really tough because if you fall back it's very difficult to keep pace so that is something which i will address in a separate video so do think about it discuss with your parents discuss with your family and then take an informed decision of course now that you're ICSE examinations have also not got finished so there is still some time the entire academic calendar is likely to be rescheduled but yes uh, ICSE 2021-2022 will be in a bit of flux because of the kind of circumstances that we are seeing at this time across the country so that is as far as this science stream is concerned that's as far as the science stream is concerned as I said we'll deal with humanities and commerce in a separate video uh, I hope I've been able to address some of the questions that you have been asking, some of the concerns. But as I said, the decision is finally yours. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you.